I didn't expect us to go in there and, and do as well as we did. I thought we, I mean, I was hoping to place in the top three, but I didn't think we were going to stay up in first the whole time. Rigger. Sergeant Johnny Delgado was as surprised as the rest of his team about their recent victory at the 2009 Rigger Rodeo, an Army-wide competition that tests not only the parachute rigger's skills, but also his physical endurance and job knowledge. This was the first time any of Delgado's team has competed in the rodeo, and they made sure they were ready for the challenge. Uh, we did about a month and a half training, uh, rigging up loads, uh, packing G12s, packing Dash 1s, just practice, rucked a lot, a lot of hard PT. During the train-up, the team also focused on the different types of parachutes they'd have to pack, learning some of them for the first time. They had the, the practice really prepped me to, to be able to be confident and go out there and uh, to, to do what I got to do. It's this confidence and determination that gained the soldiers from Echo Company 1st of the 507th Parachute Infantry Regiment at Fort Benning the title of the best rigger company in the Army. The soldiers, you know, I was there to lead them, but, you know, they, they pulled a lot out. They, they, they showed a lot of uh, dedication and a lot of uh, thrive to win. They, they, as soon as they saw that we were up on top, you know, they realized that, you know, we could win it. So, you know, a lot goes to them for... Uh, putting forth that, that motivation and, and thrive to win the events. Events included a ruck march, four mile run, a written test, PT test, airborne operations, and of course, packing parachutes. Everybody doubted us, but we came, we did our thing. We took home championship, now we champion. Sergeant Wendy Hall, Fort Benning TV.